Okay, let's uh, get stuff started up here. Uh, if you're hearing this, then uh, you're watching the video on YouTube, which means you're not part of the stream crew, which means you're not on my Discord, or at the very least, you're like not hanging around in the stream channel in the main voice chat and uh you know you should jump up my discord and be part of the crew and hang out with all of us massive turbo weebs all over the server we're uh, we're fun people to hang out with honest we are we're not even remotely boring or weird or gross or creepy not the least bit so uh yeah anyway like comment subscribe all of the typical youtube shit and I'm going to jump on over here and uh, pop into the voice channel where I can begin the streaming process. And let me jump in here, start my screen share, and this is, this is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. No, that's not it. There it is. Okay. All right, we are fired up at this point, and let's see what we got. We do not seem to have my video showing yet. So I'm gonna give that a moment to uh, to get kicking. There we go. All right, we uh, we seem to be in good shape. So. Uh, so one of the first things that uh, I want to point out here is that I have changed the background color of my paper. And the reason I did this is a lot of my um, a lot of my drawing was getting kind of lost. So I did some messing around and I just went, OK, I want white to show up. That's important. But I also want kind of various lighter colors to show up and a lot of the stuff that i was trying to do was not showing up properly on here because uh, i had a much darker had a much darker paper color i was running at uh, at a value of 39 which is like that but uh this this is not optimal i didn't uh, i didn't like where this set in terms of certain shades of gray and i didn't think that it was a uh, high enough contrast for the colors that i actually work in so i jacked it up to 52 and that i think does a somewhat better job it doesn't play as well with some of these light colors but plays much better with some of the colors down around here some of the neutral colors down around that area. And uh, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to mention that and say, I went in and fixed the paper color for, uh, for my default settings because it is a difference. And I did want to say, I did do that and that's why. So today what I want to talk about is, I want to talk about mouths. So, you know, I'm a fire in my laser. No, sorry, that's, that's not the that's not the best way to use it. But uh, the mouth basically consists of a few simple parts. You've got the lips that are on the outside out here, and then you've got the top teeth, and you've got the bottom teeth, and then you've got a tongue, and you've got the inner cheek right there. And what you'll typically do is. Um, You'll have a sort of dark red in here for the inner cheek. And if you're looking straight into the mouth, you may actually go with, uh, with black. And then you'll have a somewhat lighter pinkish or reddish color for the tongue. And of course you want to do white for the teeth. And you want to have your typical sort of a... Uh, sort of a flesh tone for the outer skin, but you're going to get kind of, you're going to get pinkish for the lips. And this is, a, this is not an effort to actually like do a good job of just kind of going over the pieces. You've got the, um, teeth. You've got a lip that's over the teeth. And then inside of the mouth, 
You've got more teeth. You've got more lip. And then inside of the mouth, you've got cheek, and then tongue, and here's kind of the hole of the throat right there. And that's the, that's the basic general anatomy of it. But what's really important is just kind of how you draw this in the, in the kind of anime style that I've been doing. And the, the, uh, the way that that works is basically you draw the basic shape of the mouth. You decide whether the top teeth or the bottom teeth or both are showing. You decide whether the uh, tongue is visible. And then you just uh, you work from there. So, for example, let me uh, let me start over here. If you go, this person's going to be upset, and they're going to be yelling. They're going to have their teeth bared, and uh, and you're going to see their tongue on the bottom, but you're not going to see their bottom teeth. So you start with something like this, and you just go, okay, well, we're going to fill that in. Um, so let's uh, hold on, refer to other layers, okay. So we're going to fill that in, and then we're going to do a darker color for the inside of the cheek, and we're going to do kind of a very nearly pure white color. You don't necessarily want to do pure white. And then you end up with something like that. And that gives you kind of a cartoony mouth, and generally speaking, you would not want to necessarily have the line art in there. You just want to have the colors. And obviously, as you can see, this is where that line art gets in the way because it has kind of crapped up the outlines there, which is where you would go in and clean it up. Or uh, if, if you listen to a lot of people... <laughs> They would say, use a, use a cleaner brush. And they're right, you know, a, a better brush to use on this would be uh, basically the, uh, the G pen is very common among... Uh, the G pen is very common among illustrators, and this has a much cleaner line style to it. So if I jack that down a little bit. Then uh, if I do the same kind of shape there, if I do the same basic thing, and then I come in and I go, okay, we're going to uh, sample that color. Let's go back to our bucket. Uh, well, that didn't work out great. Let's go back to our... G pen, fill that in. Close off that space. We'll uh, grab that and we'll flip back over to the bucket, put that in, grab that. Oh no, grab that. Put that in there, and now if we turn off the uh, now if we turn off that layer, you can see right there that uh, you can see right there on that bit that uh, I turned off the wrong layer. But if you turn off the uh, if you turn off the line art now, you can see that you get a much better result in here. And if you're working in a kind of environment where that's the sort of thing that you do, where you use the um, where you use the bucket to fill stuff in and do that sort of work, then the G-Pen is going to work out a whole lot better for that sort of thing, okay? Um, I'm not that worried about it because I don't really do a whole lot of color work in the first place. And, uh, and I did want to cover that and just say, you know, that's a valid criticism, that's a valid statement, and when you come in here and you look at this, it really does present a much better look when you turn off the line art. You turn off the line art and everything looks great, as opposed to on the upper one that I did with the Bit Husky brush, and that one has all of these little gaps in it. But that's, uh, that's because of a difference in the semantics between pens and brushes that I don't entirely understand. So, um, 
I'm uh, I'm not confident in giving classes in that. I know this uh, I know this basic thing from experimentation. Okay, I know that uh, that having gone in and messed with the G Pen and the Bit Husky brush, there's a difference in the way that they work, and that difference is meaningful. But I don't really know how to. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. And because I don't really know how to explain it, I don't really want to get into the question of, you know, what the difference is and uh, and why you would use one over the other. There's a difference in them. Uh, how to make decisions around that difference? I, I've got no clue. Um, I'm, I'm still way too early in this journey to be giving a whole lot of advice about the tools. Technique is something that I'm working on a lot, and so, for example, the uh, the basic idea that um, you know the hair is drawn in these different sort of bits. That's one thing, okay? It's one thing to talk about that, but it's quite another thing to talk about. Here's how you use this tool that I barely understand how to use myself. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not too confident in my ability to teach Clip Studio Paint because I'm still a novice at Clip Studio Paint. But uh, the basic idea of how do you draw hair that it at least looks halfway decent? Uh, well, th well, this is something over here. I mean, it's. Uh, it's definitely some hair, and if we give this person some green hair, and then we want to be a little bit dark back here and a little bit dark back here. And then we'll come in here and we'll go to the, uh, you know what, I want to, uh, I want to use the hue saturation value here, and I just want to crank up the value somewhat and use that to get my new... Uh, my new color there and this is a this is a crappy job because I'm not even bothering to try and do decent work but you know that's like that, that's a basic thing I don't feel too terrible about um, I don't feel too terrible about teaching how to do hair even though I'm not especially good at it because uh, wow that's a that's a terrible that's a terrible shade right there. You know, this is much better. I at least feel like I understand more or less what I'm doing because I'm trying to learn it myself. And then... Uh... And then that makes me feel significantly more confident about, um, about teaching anybody else how to do it. Because... I'm learning how to do it. I'm teaching myself how to do it. If I do a decent enough job, then certainly I could tell somebody how I do the job that I did. Is it the best way to do it? I don't know. I don't fucking care. Probably not. <laughs> You're not just watching me, right? You are watching like lots of other people. You should be watching lots of other people. I watch lots of other people. You should too. That's, uh, that's one of the things that online teachers and coaches get wrong a lot of the time is a notion that they have to teach everything because you're their student. No, dude, you're, you're a student of the internet world these days. You have all the teachers you want. You can get a teacher in any subject you like just very quickly and easily. So, uh, so that's not something that, uh, that's not a condition that you can expect for people to just like only be learning from you. That's uh, not even a thing. Is this my, uh, no, that's control shift Y. That's, uh, that's the flip. Control shift H. Okay, there's my, uh, okay, the dot, the dot is zoom and the line is flip. It actually made sense. So it's like, I actually have a button over here to flip my canvas and uh, I should use it more often, but I don't because I'm stupid. I do things wrong all the time. That's that's handy, but uh, yeah, let's um, let's talk further about. Uh, well, first of all, let me, let me grab a paper towel so I can uh, clean off this screen, which is 
kind of filthy for some reason. Okay, there we go. There, that's much better. Actually, it looks pretty good. As it should be. Okay, so. So let's get back to this question of the mouth. Um, she got these lips on the front of the face, and behind the lips she got these teeth over here. And inside of that, you got this tongue. And then behind that, you have the throat right there. And that's kind of the that's kind of the anatomy you're working with. So when you have the mouth open, you may or may not be able to see the upper and lower teeth. You may or may not be able to see the tongue. You may be able to see the dark hollow of the throat all the way in the back. You may be able to see the um, you may be able to see the inside of the cheek. And it's just a question of deciding what shape the mouth is supposed to be in. And there's kind of a, um, there's a visual library for uh, anime that differs somewhat where um, a very wide smile is, uh, is creepy and disturbing and, uh, and a very kind of narrow, what highly turned up smile is a, uh, that, that's smugness right there. And, uh, and it's the same basic kind of thing in every art medium. There's just this, um, here's your typical anime pout and that can happen on, uh, on either side, but it typically happens on the side toward the nose. And what a terrible anime head I just drew there. Well, that's better. <laughs> but that's just kind of, you got this swoop of the mouth. And that's typically off to the side as well. That's not something that just happens in the center of the face. Uh, if you're looking at it head on, it tends to be off to the side. Off to the side that you've got the cheek swell on because they're kind of pulling their mouth over to that side. So you end up with an expression kind of like this. I don't know why I'm even pretending to teach. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. You can see some improvement in, uh, in the way that things were going before. I need to work more on... Uh, I need to work more on three-quarter angles. That's, uh, that's something I could kind of cover here. Uh, on a three-quarter angle, you have this kind of cheekbone and cheek that swoops around like this. Now you got the chin, and the chin swoops up and around, and it's longer and lower. Because here's kind of your cheekbones right here. So then you've got the bridge of the nose right here, which will come out. And then you got the side wings of the nose and all of the other bits and pieces of the anatomy and whatnot. And this eye is going to be smaller and it's going to seem closer to this eye. Even because you're only seeing kind of one side of it, all right? And then you got your mouth here, all of that, and kind of the bottom of the lip. The shadow of the bottom of the lip is much more important than people seem to give it credit for. But then that kind of swoops up there, and here's your, uh, here's your ear. And that ear kind of swoops around, right around the same level as the nose. Then you'd have your hairline right about here, and the hair would come out, and you'd go, all right, there's, a, there's like a lock of hair there, and a lock of hair here. There's another one over here. And then here you have the hair at the back of the head. And you do the same basic kind of thing, and everything just kind of shades around the back like there. But that sort of 
three-quarter view, and there's one mistake. I've made a typical beginner mistake here, which is the head doesn't go far enough back. This head, let me, um, so is it this one? No, it's this one. No, this one. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. So the uh, the head... The head comes much farther back than people seem to think it does. And it curves much more dramatically. It doesn't go just smoothly down like that. It curves back inward more dramatically than people tend to think. And the hair sits on top of it and isn't like directly flush to it. So that needs to come much farther back like so. And that's still a little bit, I think I still haven't got the, still haven't gotten the shape correct there. It's closer though. Hair will cover it up regardless. But um, I need to work more on this because while well, that's sort of the uh, the realistic mechanism for that, well, that's sort of the uh, the realistic avenue there. The uh, the anime avenue is a little bit more idealized and it's smoother there's kind of a there's a smoother sort of feel to it and I need to work on that I need to work on kind of that three quarter view I'm going to save this just so I actually like have it um, and uh, I'm going to delete that. In fact, I'm going to do not save, create a new one. So, um, so if we've got kind of an anime face like so, and we want to turn that this direction, then we want... We still want to project. Everything should still be at the same level. But it's shaped differently. You can see more of the uh, you can see more of the face. So you got this center line here and here that center line's in a different location. So you have to think about this. You're always thinking about everything that you draw as a three-dimensional object. And not just as some lines on a paper. The lines are creating an illusion, but you should always think in terms of the illusion you're creating and not the lines that you're making necessarily. I mean, you do think about the lines you're making, but you're drawing the lines with the intent of creating that illusion. That's the kind of what lines to draw. Well, you have to draw the left side of the face, and you have to draw the right side of the face, and you have to draw the back of the skull. Then you draw your center line. You have your eyes, and then your nose, and there's your, uh, there's your mouth right there. And you know what lines to draw. There's a left side of the face, there's a right side of the face, but where exactly do those lines get drawn? You're looking at it straight on, it's like this. You're looking at it from one side, it's like that. You're looking at it from the other side, it's like that. But why they need to be drawn there matters. So you've got kind of the shape of the face, and this is not a great face shape. You should really uh, do a better face shape. But when you turn that to the side, there's a, there's a difference in how this side of it is going to look, and there's a difference in how this side is going to look. Because you're looking at more flat space here, and you're looking at less flat space over here. It's the same basic concept here. And when you go all the way to the side, then that's a whole different thing altogether. 
and uh, anime girls from anime girls from the side are just like they're cats. It's that simple. They're cats. Okay, it's just like um, it's like you look at a cat. The cat's snout comes out, and the head comes up like this. So you got the cat ears. It's just a narrower, just a narrower snout. I have uh, I have an example of this in my pictures folder. Let me grab it real quick. I'll pull it out. Uh, where's it? There we go. Yeah. It, they're cats. It's that simple. <laughs> you just bump the forehead up a little bit. That's the major thing right there is just to uh, bump the forehead out. Do not save. Okay. Um... I'll pull that out. I'm gonna go down to the line art, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna think in terms of I'm gonna think in terms of let's draw right here. And draw the profile of this anime girl's face in kind of a three quarter view. Here would be the eye, right here. And the eyelashes will stick out a bit. There's the bottom of the eye, and she's going to be looking in the direction of the quote-unquote camera. And then over here, we have the other eye, which we're going to draw in a more complete fashion. And down here we'll have the, and again, here's the iris, here's the pupil, I'll elongate the pupil a little bit more over there, emphasize the shape of the nose, and we'll give her a typical little happy anime girl expression, yay! This is entirely wrong. The eyes are too far apart. The spacing needs to compress. That needs to be shorter. This needs to be shorter. So... It is not enough to identify what is wrong. You must fix it. Yeah, we're going to free transform that so we can uh, make that a little bit larger. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. And... I think that's better. Is that better? It's not better. That's worse. <laughs> okay, what if I uh, what if I flip it? If I flip it, can I see what's wrong? I still can't really see what's wrong. What if... Okay, let's, uh... Let's start over. We're going to cut and paste. We're going to go back to our main line art and we're going to pull that off. And now I'm going to deselect. So here's that. And here, the bridge of the nose, the nose is in the wrong place. Let's grab the nose. Switch to move. And we'll move the nose over and up because we want kind of a swoop down from there. 
that that does rather a lot I think and now we can locate this eye right about here and we can locate the iris and the pupil and we can extend that out somewhat take that around the edge of the eye like so and let's redo this bit a little here I think this just needs to be okay. What if I flip it now? How does that look? Better, I think. There's an improvement. I do see an improvement, but I cannot hear you at all. Can't hear me at all. Seriously? Is my microphone muted or something? I'm definitely getting output here on the... Uh, I'm definitely getting output on the recording software. But... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not... Am I... I'm not seeing any actual... Activity here. Hold on. I muted my microphone and now it's back on. Um, yeah, it's not showing. What is going on here? Technical difficulties, please stand by. Huh. That is frustrating. Um... Noise suppression powered by crisp. What is that? Let's see. Um, let me test this. There we go. There we, we got, something got something going, going on. on. Why is that? Okay, what's it? how's that? Have you got me now? I can hear you. I can hear you right now. Okay, so you got me? Yes, I do got you. All right. Do you want to know what it was? What? The uh, the noise suppression was suppressing everything. Did his job too well. Yeah, the, the little noise suppression thing was literally, it was suppressing my entire <laughs> audio. It was suppressing the whole goddamn thing. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. There we go. That should uh, That should fix it. Uh, I do apologize for that. Should have been fine on the uh, should have been fine on the YouTube channel. It's just on the Discord, but uh, yeah, now we know. Now we know that. So, um, huh? I'm still not seeing a. Uh, I'm still not seeing the. I am not seeing the little activity indicator next to my uh, profile. Where it shows. You know, I, I'm actually am seeing your voice activity on popping up. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you can hear me, right? Yes, I can hear you. All I'm right, on. good. You're about... <laughs> Problem solved. Thanks a fucking lot, Discord. Really appreciate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Discord, Discord. Oh, jeez. Problems you, you, we have. You can't, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, you would, you could, but people wouldn't believe you, you know? And they go, that's stupid. Nobody puts something out like that. So anyway, what I'm, what I'm looking at right now, since you seem to have just come in, is um, I'm kind of doing these three-quarter angle images, and I'm trying to get better at these. Because I need to do, I need to do more of this angle. I'm not doing enough of it. I'm doing too much like head-on stuff. So I'm thinking in terms of uh, of how to 
do a better job. Hello, there's Simba. And uh, I was just kind of working on uh, getting some eyes together that uh, that work properly for this. That the the left eye is a little too close. <laughs> the left eye. So this one right here. This one on this side. No, that's the right eye. Well, it's on my left. <laughs> I'm, th I'm thinking about the, the, the face perspective, not your well, yeah. perspective. Well, yeah, so, you know, like, here's the ear. Mm -hmm. do, do you still think that eye is too close? <laughs> too, too close to what? Too close to, too close to this side or too close to this side? Think. Because if you really kind of go through and look at the anatomy, here's the bridge of the nose right here, okay? So the brow... What, what, what type of perspective are you looking at? What do you mean? What Okay. Uh... It's a three-quarter profile perspective is what they typically call it. So, like, here's the, uh, here's the wing of the nose right here. And you've got the inner corner of the eye there. The actual profile of the eye is right there. And then you've got the other one right there. I am going to post something in Discord. Found a really good, uh, a really good, uh... So when you look at, uh, when you look at how the, uh, how the actual anatomical elements spec out on it, here, I posted something in Maine. Okay, yeah. None of those is exactly what I'm trying to do because I've got it tilted down. But uh, let me go ahead and um, copy that and pull it over here so the various folks on uh, on YouTube can see it. Uh, he's kind of pointing at uh, at this situation here. So let me uh, drag that over here. And now I gotta pop out to full. We'll go pull this down into the same general vicinity right there, transform, and we'll uh, expand it out. So uh, you can see here that, uh, that the perspective I'm working with, which is now kind of <laughs> fucked up because I drew a skull over top of it, it's really none of these. It, it's okay, not I'm any sorry, of them. But the freaking thing on the, the bottom one looks like a freaking squid would gone wrong. Kind of, sort of, because I scrawled a skull over top of it to show, like, here are the eye sockets and here are all of the other bits and pieces. Good word gone wrong. But it's just a matter of, um, you know, let me go ahead and turn that off there. But uh, this is good for looking at, like, realistic proportions and whatnot. This is a uh, this is a good reference image. But it doesn't have, I mean, like, it doesn't have anything even close to the uh, to the angle that I was drawing at there, which is sort of inclined down. There's nothing like that. It would be kind of in between these two right here. Kind of in between those two. I see. That's, yeah. what, uh, that's what we'd be looking at. Let me move that downward. Wait, let me move that upward. <laughs> and uh, let's see, where was I? Oh, yeah. I keep meaning to start working with vector layers, so I have like the line correction stuff on my uh, on my tool panel, but I'm not using vector layers yet because uh, because it, it's a little bit beyond where I'm trying to be, to be perfectly honest. But uh, where was I? Oh yeah. But the idea of this was just to kind of have. 
a simple profile. There's the ear, and you've got an eye there, and you've got an eye here, and you've got the nose here, and the nose kind of blocks the eye, but in anime, we move the nose down significantly, so it doesn't block the eye, so you don't have this bridge of the nose and the eye poking out and blocking half of that eye, because the eyes are really important in anime. So it's kind of in really, that. really, really important in anime. They, yeah. they, they're a lot, so you want to drop like... the nose down a little bit, and you want to kind of push it forward. And uh, I was just talking about the basic idea that essentially the uh, the chicks in anime are cats. So you give them a little kind of cat smile and whatnot. Posted another one in, the, in there. It's anime related. It's not as good as the one above, but that's that's actually got a uh, a much more similar angle, right? Uh, right here. This is this is kind of what we're looking at. Is that one right there? is just a little bit farther down. But yeah, that's uh that's that's more the kind of thing that I was going at. And you can see that it's got like uh the same basic things, but I'm looking more from this angle and not from this angle. So you're looking like more underneath. So the head is um Pardon me while I get my naked baby doll. So it's just kind of you got the head and the head is turned to the side and it's inclined downward like that. It's that kind of thing. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like looking down at peasants, right? Uh, kind of, sort of. No, it's more of a, uh, it's more of a head cock to the side sort of thing. It's like, what you talking about, bitch? It's like, nigga, please. <laughs> 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 Who you think I am? Yeah, I th I think all I need to do is just like draw a whole lot of these, and then it will uh, it will get easier. And you've got kind of the full side view, like so, and then you've got uh, more of the three quarter view, and you've got kind of more straight on here. And really, no matter what you start with, you always kind of have that round beginning. You always have that round starting shape. What they call the cranial units when you're looking at, uh, at Russian instructors. You got the ear over here, and you got the edge of the nose. There's your center line there. And uh, if you were to go on and draw like the neck, if you were to draw the neck on this part, then uh, here, right at the line of the spine, right between the line of the spine and there, you'd come down there. That would be where the throat was coming down. So you'd have the pit of the neck right here. And that pit of the neck is where the clavicles come off of. And then over here, you've got the you've got the trap muscles that are coming down off of that. And then here would be your shoulder, and here would be your other shoulder. And that's how those would fit together. Um, and you can kind of see all of that as you're doing your construction, if you, like, think about it and draw through, and you think, you know, like, there's... There's the back of the neck coming together and coming upward, and then in front of that, you have the front of the neck. And the front of the neck comes with a contour more like this. And then that would inform your shading and like what's in shadow and what's in light and all of that kind of thing. And I'm not doing a great job of explaining that, but you know. <sighs> yeah, that's. Um... 
But that's the uh, that's the whole thing that I've been kind of working on lately. I've been doing this thing. Uh, I kind of mentioned this in Discord, but I haven't really talked about it on. Uh, I haven't talked about it on stream that much. I don't think I talked about this last week. Anyway, but uh, I was really not feeling it last week, so I I had a terrible time trying to do the stream and trying to put like anything together, and it sucked. And if you watched it, I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, uh, over the course of this month, I've been uh, I've been stopping everything at eleven o'clock every night and just sketching for twenty minutes and just like forcing myself to do sort of a daily sketch thing, and it's producing results. It's actually getting me somewhere, but it's it's still like it's still frustrating. And I haven't been recording it and I haven't been posting it anywhere, but. Uh, but I kind of feel like I want to keep that up, particularly once the new year starts up. So at like 11 o'clock, I go and for 20 minutes, I'm just drawing. And that's the thing that I do at 11 o'clock every goddamn night. So, um, yeah, that's a uh, that's a thing I've been thinking about continuing. Because I, I like the results I'm getting from it. And it's uh, it's getting me to think about certain things more more effectively and something that I haven't really noticed but I think is uh, is almost certainly coming out of this is I'm more familiar with my tools and being more familiar with your tools is uh, that's useful you know and you should uh, you should try to be more familiar with your tools that would uh, that would be useful and helpful and all that sort of thing. And um, looks like somebody's about to eat a hamburger or something. Could be, yeah. You, you could uh, you could put a hamburger in there and put uh, you do. Let's see, what would be a good uh, hamburger bun color? And that's. Uh, That would be a good hamburger bun color right there, right? Let's, uh... So let's do kind of, here's the hamburger bun, and then we'll uh, have some lettuce hanging out. And uh, maybe you can see the edge of a tomato, and then down here you got the burger patty. And then you can see the edge of the bun here and we'll use the same color for uh for the bottom bun as we use for the top we'll use a kind of yellowish wheatly color for the uh, top surface of the bottom bun we'll get a nice spring green for the lettuce a little more saturated than that and a nice spring green there for our lettuce. Add in. And uh, then we'll do the uh, tomato. It should really be kind of a deeper, darker tomato so it looks more ripe. There's our bit of tomato. And finally, we will need to get some kind of deep brown for the burger. Like maybe that. No, that looks awful. Let's... Uh, how about that? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. So there we go. Now, now we got uh, somebody getting ready to eat a hamburger. So they'd just be kind of like uh, sitting there with their eyes mostly closed. And this is absolutely not an Ahagal face. <laughs> Do something like that. I'm gonna put an ear there. That's just a pretty small hamburger. It's kind of a slider.
Yeah, I tend to uh, I tend to run out of steam after about uh, forty minutes into the stream. I'm at uh, almost fifty minutes into the recording now, and this is about the this is about the part where I just start kind of staring at things and thinking and not really not really drawing much of anything anymore. I really need to get away from. I still do the kind of hairy lines thing. Where I start, uh, I start using very short lines to go just exactly the direction that I want, and and that's not a good thing to do. What I need to do is just be kind of smooth and simple, and with the line. And here I am again. You know, I'm I'm doing the thing that I. This is that bad habit that I've been trying to get rid of, which is, um, yeah, this is the whole. Uh, This is the whole sketching right over top of the previous sketch thing. Yeah. <laughs> Discord is at it again. Are are they uh, are you again not hearing uh are you again not hearing my voice? I can hear your voice right now, but the last, like, five minutes, I didn't hear anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, geez, I, that may just be that uh, that I'm speaking quietly because I'm just, like, mumbling. That's a problem. No, no it wasn't the beginning. It's just, like, one. completely gone. Yeah, That's gone. That's wonderful. Dude, dude, you're talking to a deaf man. If I can't hear you. <laughs> if I'm talking to a deaf man, then you're not hearing me as normal, isn't it? <laughs> Yes, I can hear you because I have speech processors. <laughs> I've literally connected directly to the sound. So okay. anything that goes so anything up to your mic I hear directly. Okay. Yeah. Technology. Yeah, that's fantastic. Technology is awesome. I don't know, man. In Discord, like two weeks ago, it was stuttering and all that stuff. Now it's audio issues. Yep. I know what you mean. <sighs> hmm. This Minecraft series I'm doing is way more fun than I expected. I'm making a mo lot more progress than I expected. Yeah, Minecraft. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because the, uh, the, the thing that kind of, the interesting thing to me is, and now that I'm actually looking at how much time this takes, I'm, uh, I'm 19 hours of gameplay in, and I've got two iron farms, two villager breeders, an experience farm, and uh, an enchanting table and all of this stuff. And I'm looking at all this going... Damn, I don't usually make this much progress this fast. I do a lot more fucking around in my Minecraft games generally. <laughs> more fucking around. <laughs> yeah, I, I do a lot more screwing around and just like not accomplishing anything. And I was really annoyed. It took me like six hours to find all of my workstations. I did, I think, like five entire episodes that were nothing but me searching for villages. But yeah, that that's pretty much the extent of the sketch stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. But I'm going to stay on. I'm going to stay on voice chat and hang out for a while. Well, screw the YouTube pe people, I guess. Do what? Screw the YouTube people. If they want, to, want more, they go to Discord. Well, it's not a screw them kind of thing. I mean, they always get a couple minutes more than the people on Discord get. But it's all like, hey, you should come to the Discord.